Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. Big week ahead. Finally, we're going to get some snow across the west. Three storms lined up. The first two, pretty minor compared to the third. The third is really the main event for most places. Not all, but the first two will basically sacrifice to basically chip away and kind of dislodge this bulletproof high that's been sitting across the west now for two solid weeks. So you're looking at satellite here of the Pacific. So already the big high is starting to move. It's starting to get moved, uh, be moved by this translating uh, dip in the jet, which is coming through with another storm over Hawaii. I mean, it's been amazing to see the snow on Mauna Kea out of these three storm systems with blizzard warnings. So that is the pattern change that will be moving into the west, dislodging the high, and then setting up. And it's really what, what happens is the first two storms grease the atmospheric skids, and the third storm becomes the main event. So that is what I uh, was looking at this morning on my uh, weather blog. I, I try to update this each day. Um, if you, ChrisTomer.com, if you want, uh, subscribe to it. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Uh, looked at the pattern, the jet stream, even the wind on the highest peaks, and of course the snow forecast, which I'm going to break down here in two different pieces as well, two different time frames. Let's look at the future position according to the American GFS model here of where it's going to be. So here comes the first storm into the west. You can see the blue uh, showing up. Again, this is not the biggest of storms. A lot of the energy is going to um, displacing or weakening the, high, the ridge of high pressure. And so there is some blue, uh, Idaho, Montana, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, even in California, there's a little. But then that slides through and it's basically done. By the time we get into Tuesday night, it's over. So here it is, I'll back it up. You can see it, it's mainly Monday afternoon into Tuesday, and then that's it. So by Wednesday, we're back just kind of waiting. Here comes a small, tiny little short wave. This, this is Wednesday night, Thursday morning right here. You can kind of see it, just a little low. Little ripple sliding through with just another inch or two of accumulation through Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. That moves through and then sets the stage. The main storm's on its heels. There it is. Let's see what the pressure is according to this. 993 uh, Thursday into Friday. Look how far north the low is. Too far north for Front Range of Colorado to benefit, but should be good for the mountains of uh, Utah, southern Utah, Brian Head, uh, St. George area. Um, should be good for uh, so far south, though. It'll still clip parts of Wyoming. but um, So southern Colorado, northern New Mexico will get something out of this. 989, all right, so that's the low. 989 by Friday morning. 989. Um, and then it slides away. So by Saturday, uh, the storm is dissipating and the snow is ending even in Colorado. So the main event Thursday, Friday, ending on Saturday, should make for excellent skiing. Friday, Saturday, across Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, northern New Mexico. And then it's out of here, but that's what we're looking at across a large part of the West. What about snow total? So we'll do this in two phases. This is my forecast today through the 8th, so through the 8th. You can see the numbers between the first and the second storm. There's not a lot there. Uh, 1 to 3 over Utah, 3 to 6 in Colorado, minus Silverton being a little heavier pocket. Six, seven, eight inches through uh, the Tetons up in the southwest Montana. Uh, you can see the numbers. So let's look at part two, the main event storm, the 9th through the 12th. Um, if all this plays out, um, you can see we're looking at one to two feet across Colorado, one to two feet in Utah, and less to the north because of where I showed you how that low spins up in Colorado. Um, so the main emphasis will be from Utah into Colorado. Not as much as I had hoped in northern New Mexico, but four to five uh, Angel Fire Taos in quite a bit as the next storm cycle begins to roll up into the Pacific Northwest. Some really big totals up there. Uh, one bonus piece of material on my blog, I looked at Park City. So let's look at Wolf Creek here. Wolf Creek will be a great place to target Friday, Saturday for skiing in Colorado. A couple of feet possible there between the first storm and the second. Um, kind of shooting in the middle ground at 20 here, but you can see the snow plume, but a couple of feet possible there in southern Colorado. All right, I'll keep things updated here and on my blog. Always appreciate everybody turning in, tuning in here. Take care. Have a great day.